So it's the arena that I work in. It's a place to put into practice questions that I have, problems that I have, um, situations that are uh, disturbing or um, a way of navigating being a human in the world. Uh, I grew up dancing, so I danced since I was a very small human, like three years old. It's kind of like a way of being outside of, your, outside of yourself. Um, stepping outside of yourself and I know that I always really loved performing so this didn't frighten me um, and that maybe as a young person it was uh, I got like a lot of joy and pleasure from this and so there's still a relationship to those things joy and pleasure inside of the physical action of Dancing. I'm not sure that it's still, it's not the, the main motor to continue now, but that's still present inside of like a physical practice. And I grew up in a pretty artistic kind of household. My father was an artist and a musician, and so uh, working with music and art was kind of always around. Um, and my parents were pretty supportive of this endeavor. And I did research with Zoya, both Zoya Smitty and Dana Michelle. And then the piece that we made with Dana, we just presented this last winter in February. Uh, and now I'll be here working in my own capacity. So yeah. Super grateful to get to continue a relationship with Amelia and continue working here because it's uh, fed me a lot. So, and all the artists who were in the company at that time really influenced the way that I think about making, my values around artistic practice. The kind of ethics that I try to apply in the studio when I'm working. I want to continue working with people. Uh, I made a couple solos on myself. Uh, and then most recently I made a group piece and another duet. And I would like to continue working with other humans. Um, in terms of what I want to work on exactly, I don't know yet. I haven't had the access to work on something for a longer arc of time yet, so I'm a little bit happy to have the freedom to not have to know specifically what I'm going to do. and to really treat it like research. I feel really lucky to have the space to be, to make those invitations to people. And these are like very special relationships in a kind of uh, deeply intimate way that we don't get to have outside of the studio with them. I mean, so far it's been about developing, like yes, uh, preparing the body, warming up the body, opening the body, but also um, opening up other channels for perceiving space and time and other bodies, um, and a way to have those more conceptual or theoretical questions present in a training situation. 
I guess it's a bit of like a laboratory for mm -hmm. the choreographic practice 